Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Pirro. Today we're gonna draw a three-toed sloth and her baby. So mama and baby. So this is such a cute animal. I thought you guys would enjoy drawing this with me today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my example picture up on the window. And I'm going to move my camera just a little bit closer to the drawing so that you can see really well. You need to find something to draw with. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker today. Um, you could use a pencil, a crayon, a Sharpie marker, whatever you have on hand, even a ballpoint pen. I love the ballpoint pen because it doesn't smear and it's hard to um, get it on your hands. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our mama sloth. And when we look at this picture here, um, we're gonna put our hands down to help us decide where to position our first marks. So if I put my hands on the paper like this, um, right down in the middle, I'm gonna come to this right-hand side, and right in the middle of that area, that's where I'm gonna put the mama sloth's head. If you don't get it right in the middle, that's okay. You just have to make sure that you have room for the rest of the body off to the side. So we're gonna go ahead and draw an oval shape, or almost a circle, two eyes, two circles to make the eyes, and then we're going to fill in everything except a small little white area. This little white area will give you a uh, lifelike shine on your eyes, okay? So it's not really the pupil of the eye, it's just a little highlight. And this helps make it look more realistic or a little bit more lively and cuter. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to. I know that sometimes I go a little bit too fast for you, but I only have a few minutes to get this on video, and so I'm expecting that you guys will want to pause the video when you get behind. All right, now we're gonna do a little sideways oval for the nose and a cute little smile. Okay, our three-toed sloth has some markings on its face. This is a little bit darker brown around the eyes. So we're just gonna come up and around. I'm gonna start at the side of the face, go around the circle and back to the side again. If you want to, you could add a little scruffy fur mark at the top, kind of a zigzag line. All right, now we're gonna do a line that comes up and around. This is like a rainbow line. And we're gonna, that's the rest of the sloth's head. And our sloth today is hanging one arm down behind, and then the other three are holding onto a tree branch. So we're gonna do this first arm that hangs down. When we draw the arm, it's gonna be kind of like a long stretched out U shape. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna go down, curve it around like a J and then back up and then stop. And we'll finish the rest of that body in a little while. Well, actually let's do it right now. And then we're gonna go like this. We'll come up and around and do a shallow U shape, just a smiley kind of line that curves across and that's gonna end right here. All right, now we need to do this arm. Now, when I first drew this one, I ac accidentally drew the arm on top of the branch. This time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw two lines up here, and I'm not gonna wait because I wanna draw the branch going in front. And then my second leg, we'll put two fingers, leave up that much space, put a little dot right here, and then we've gotta make an upside down U, up and down for our second leg. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this up and go just a little bit past this line here and in. And that'll be like the, the little soft little tail shape. Okay, now remember we didn't finish this arm because we want a tree branch going across here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a line that crosses, starting from this leg, crosses over these two lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make the top half of the tree branch. Okay, I don't wanna make the whole branch because we've gotta draw our little baby up here too. I'm gonna lift up my marker, come out the other side, go to the edge of the paper, and do that again right here. Okay, down here we have to finish the little tummy. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna draw a little half circle and that will show the back side of, of this arm. And we're gonna put three claws holding onto the tree branch. 
I've heard that the sloth has very strong grip and very strong hold on the branch. Okay, now we have to make our, our leg that's coming from the other side of the body. So from here, we're gonna make a line that goes up, come out the top, go another little half circle, and this one is just gonna be hidden behind the first leg. Right here, we're gonna do those three claws again. There we go, now we've got three holding on. We're gonna go back here and give the, the three claws on this arm that's hanging down. All right, mama sloth is done. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna drop baby sloth. So just above this um, branch, so if I was to imagine this branch coming under the claws and it's going to continue after, in a few minutes, we need to draw the baby sloth's little cute little face. So we're gonna draw another circle or oval shape, cute little eyes, and again, fill in our eyes, but leave just a little speck of white showing so that we have a highlight. And a cute little nose, a cute little smile, a shape around the eyes, and a little scruff of messy hair on top of its head. Now, we're gonna do kind of a baby pose on, on here. I'm gonna um, cartoon this a little bit and make it look a little exaggerated. We're gonna make it look like his little rump is up in the, in the air so that it looks more like a baby. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and draw this shape around the face and extend this around under its chin. And that's gonna be his um, arm. We'll put some little claws here, three little claws. And then this is going to extend down like a U shape, three little claws. He's just kind of draped over this branch and we'll do a second leg here, a third leg actually, a little tummy, and then we're gonna finish off the branch. And this is gonna continue out here and get a little smaller and turn into a little pointy line, okay? Um, now we have to do the fourth foot and that's just gonna show just a little bit from behind here. So a little half circle and three claws. And there we have it, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, good, I have all the legs in. All right, we almost have it finished here. The last thing that we need to do is add some leaves and branches because the sloth exists on um, leaves and plants, okay? This uh, three-toed sloth, I've read, because it's the slowest mammal in the world, it actually only eats leaves. And that means its metabolism has to be very, very, very slow, just like uh, everything else about the sloth. And um, otherwise it would not get enough energy because it doesn't even eat uh, fruit or berries. It just eats leaves. Um, I also read that there are other types of sloth that do eat leaves. I believe the two-toed the two sloth eats berries and leaves, and that makes it a little bit different, okay? But the three-toed sloth is the very slowest. Now, if you want to, you could add a few little marks for texture. You have to be really careful about this because if you do too much, it looks really scary and rough, and we don't want to do that. We want them to stay cute and nice. So I'm just going to do a few little tiny short marks on mama to help make it look furry. Okay, an, a, another fun fact I learned about sloths when I was doing research today was that the sloth has um, is so slow in the trees that algae grows on it and it has kind of a greenish algae look to it. It helps camouflage it in the forest, in the, in the rainforest. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is sign my picture. I hope you enjoyed creating today, and I hope you um, have fun coloring and finishing off your sloth drawing. If you want to do some other types of sloths, I'm going to be offering another one um, later where we do a sloth cartoon where it's like a whole family of sloths sitting on top of each other. Um, so enjoy your day. Bye-bye.